بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. This is a story about gratitude to the King of Kings, the source of all benefit and beauty. When Solomon, peace be upon him, asked for a kingdom which would never be replicated, he was granted the keys to subduing the creation. This surah or chapter of the Qur'an is named after the ants, which invites us to pay special attention to this remarkable interaction. The first thing he needed was for her throne to be brought at speed over a distance well over a thousand miles. But who would rise to this challenge? Her throne had been altered slightly and placed outside as though to symbolize the end of the sovereignty she had enjoyed. King Solomon's unique workforce of jinns and men had constructed a palace which far exceeded the imagination of the Queen of Sheba. Ta-da! 